Now, and in an effort for conservation, the Board of Water Supply is asking Oahu residents to reduce water consumption by 10 percent. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live from the Board of Water Supply with more details. Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Ross. And here, joining us on Take Two to tell us more about what this all means, we have our friend Stephen Nordstrom, who's an information specialist with the Board of Water Supply. Good morning, Aloha. Hey, Aloha. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yes. Thank you so much for being part of our show. So, first, tell us what's the current state that we're in right now, and then what do you all mean by 10% reduction? Those are good questions. So, the current state right now is we're really um, trying to kind of monitor how things are looking. Water demand has recently been down, but we're getting ready for summer. What happens in summertime is demand is going to increase. It's going to get hot. People are going to use more water. So we really want to push that message of just being mindful of the water use you're using. So that 10%. So think about this. About 6,000 gallons of water is used by a single family home a month. So that's about, if you do the math, about 200 gallons of water a day. So we're asking customers to cut that back by 10%. So that's 20 gallons for a single family home. And real basic things like in the shower, like when you're in the bathroom, if you're taking baths, that's using about 36 gallons of water. So I don't recommend baths. Showers are good. That uses about two gallons of water per minute. But if you are taking showers that are like 15, 18, 19 minutes, reduce those by a couple of minutes because we really prefer a five-minute shower. And here at the Board of Water Supply, we at, when we have events, we give these really cool shower timers away. So these are a really good um, kind of uh, show that to you over there. It's a really good message to let customers know, you know, hey, look, five minutes is almost up. I should wrap it up. But some people like longer showers, which is fine. Mm -hmm. but, but shaving a couple of minutes off, off is pretty good. Good. Another big water waster is car washes. So if you're going to wash your car and you're using a hose that doesn't have a nozzle, that wastes about 140 gallons of water, a complete waste of water. So if you have to wash your car, we recommend using a nozzle or getting a bucket like this over here and just filling up that with water with a, you know, with a sponge and a towel to wash your car that way or to reach out to car washes and find out if they're using recycled water. Because I believe car washes, they use recycled water. It's about 12 gallons of water. So it's not as bad. And another big one, Dallas, is leaks. Leaks are horrible because leaks waste about 90 gallons of water and a lot of times people don't even know they have leaks. So think about who wants to pay for water that they're not using, right? So one of the most common household leaks is found right in your toilet. And if you haven't replaced your flapper in the last five years, I would definitely look at replacing it because a flapper is one of the most common leaks in a toilet. And so here at the Board of Water Supply, we actually give out uh, toilet leak detection dye tablets. And so what you do is you would drop that into the tank of the toilet and then look at the toilet bowl. And if you see a discoloration, that usually means you have a leak. You can also get those dye tablets at Hardware Hawaii as well. But one big thing about a toilet, if it's singing to you while well, you might like the song or something, uh, that's usually determining that you have a leak. So that's not a good thing. Another big thing to check for the 10% is going out through your yard, checking your sprinkler systems, broken sprinklers, um, water leaks in your yard. So if you see an area in your yard where the grass looks really green, that might be a good thing, but no, that's probably a leak. Check your connections, like your hose connections to the spigot. So a lot of times, you know, people will turn the hose on and then it'll start shooting out. So those are definitely some ways that you can reduce water use. That's a lot of information when it comes to that 10% reduction, but all easy steps too. Yep. You know, it comes to the showers, the toilets, the car washes, and especially with weather like this, you're going to save on that car wash. So it looks like everyone should be saving water, yes, right? Definitely. Perfect. And you know, this is a perfect day for a rain bucket just like this. And we'll get in more detail. We'll get more into um, this information in the next half hour and how to use these tools and how you can make one of your own too as well. But if you want some more insight on what the Board of Water Supply is doing, you can visit our website at KH12.com. Reporting out here at the scene, Dallas Navarro's KH12 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you very much, Dallas, and thanks to Stephen for some great tips. And we all need that rain right now. All right, coming up next, got a sweet tooth, guilty. We'll speak with an expert about the dangers of eating too much sugar.